say, don't oversaturate the market. Don't go to one place too many times because people won't come back to see you. What the fuck do they know? Who is they? And what the fuck do they know? Nothing. Because we play here a lot and the crowd just keeps bigger, bigger. And I'm really surprised that all y'all fit in this room tonight. It's a fucking thing of beauty. Let me tell you. It's incredible. Who has seen us before? <laughs> Cheers, because this, this is all because of you. It's all because of you. There are a lot of artists that will stand on the stage just like this, with a microphone just like this, and they'll say, it's all because of you. And then afterwards, they'll think it's all because of them. Now, I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. I'm just speaking from personal experience. You guys mean the fucking world to me. So thank you so much for being here. Yes. You see, they call it the music industry. I call it the fan industry. You guys know, I know you. I've met most of you. I've talked to almost all of you. You have commented on our posts and I have commented back. I recognize. You're not a stepping stone. You're not a number. You're not a dollar sign. You're fucking family. Each and every one. I just met you earlier. You're 10, right? And it's your birthday tomorrow, right? Happy birthday. I see all the kids in the room here tonight. Now, we played in Minneapolis last night. There's a guy named Jack. He's 24 years old. He's in the front row. He's been in the front row since he was 14. He has been watching us since he was 14 years old. And now, he's pursuing a music dream of his own. Is he sits in that front row and he takes this all in and just like I tell everybody every single night, not just only in our songs, but in between them, if you got a dream, go fucking get it. Nobody can stop you but you, right? This is a fucking family reunion, baby. This is fucking beautiful. Yeah. Without this family, none of this is possible. It's not cliche. Danny's not getting married and buying a house. That's because of y'all. That happened because of y'all. a house once he's not scared of interest rates. That's gonna happen. If you're a millennial, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Maddie, and I say this every night, our wonderful, beautiful drummer that should be in InSync, not from Ashes to New York. I'm still trying to figure out if he's in Shinedown or from Ashes to New York. That's their just squids in my ear. Squid in the back of the room. He's like, uh, he's running our sound. Give it up for him. He's talking bullshit. And me, as a lot of y'all know, because you pay attention and you have brought me gifts, and I see one hanging in the air right there. I'm gonna have a baby in March. And that doesn't happen without you guys. It just doesn't happen. This world. It's too fucked up and too scary to bring another life into it. And I know that a lot of y'all are thinking the same thing. Like, fuck that, I ain't bringing anybody into this fucked up shit. <laughs> you know what? And we thought about that. We did think about that. But then we realized that we have an extended family out here to support us and take care of us. And you make it a whole hell of a lot less scary. So thank you so very much. Usually this is the part in the show where Danny comes out and he says something to make you guys boo me after I just told you that I love you so much. So what do you got to say, buddy? Uh... You got nothing tonight. Nothing. You got nothing. This is pretty good job. Well, I've never asked a round of applause. I'm just a blue squid. I don't know if I like that. Round of applause? Who the fuck are you? Uh, I think we should get back to doing our fucking job. Tell about that. <laughs> you guys want some more music? It's just an opportunity for you to breathe. One more time. You want some more music? Yeah.